Hey everyone, it's Shan Damon here. Today I wanted to cover the estate. Now before we begin, I want to mention that I know a lot of people that end up just skipping the estate and not touching it, but in this video I'm going to show how to use it and why it's pretty important. Also I just want to mention that I know it is going to be called Island Stronghold in EUNA, but I am just so used to estate, so please bear with me. Anyways, let's get into it. Well, first off, how exactly do you unlock the estate? Well, you gotta first complete North Fern. After that, go to your training tab, and under training, there should be a quest to unlock the estate. I already completed it, so just looking for my completed quest, it should be called Harold Theon's Invitation. This quest requires you to go to East Lutheran, near Prince Cillian's castle and just follow the quest line there to unlock the estate. Once you do that, you'll unlock a new song, Song of the Blessed Land. This song will send you to your estate. Once you've played that song, you should be in your estate. There should be another quest line for you to follow while you're in the estate. It kind of shows you how exactly to manage your estate, but just keep following it and uh, you should be able to do stuff freely shortly. If you look towards the bottom of the screen, there should be some shortcuts for you. These open up the facilities in your estate and can be useful. The first one we'll talk about is Layout, which has a shortcut of Control 2. This lets you place furniture and objects in your estate freely. It's mainly for cosmetic purposes, so have fun with that. You can also place your own individual characters, as well as affinity characters. You need to have uh, affinity with uh, certain NPCs maxed in order to place them in your estate. Now before we get into the facilities, I want to mention that if you want to research and send out uh, naval missions, which I will both explain later, wood and iron are your best friends here. Having a, a good supply of them will help you in the long run. Having uh, some pirate coins as well as some gold will also be needed here. So stock up on those. If you press Control 1 or click the button at the bottom of the screen, it'll open up the management menu. This uh, entire interface lets you manage five different facilities. We'll go over them one by one. The first one we'll be talking about is the laboratory. This lets you research uh, certain facilities and upgrade faci other facilities like the workshop and the headquarters which I'll get to. You can also get direct benefits like reduced research costs, reduced crafting cost, energy, uh, energy capacity increase. You can also unlock recipes for the workshop like different battle items, crafting materials and whatnot as well as open up new areas around the map. It's also worth mentioning that there is an expand expedition storage. These researches allow you to unlock new storage for your expedition warehouse. If you look at your expedition warehouse, there is one and two. The second tab is fully unlocked with researching in the estate. All the slots you see right now are just from me upgrading my estate. You'll, you'll unlock them slowly over time. I think at level 25 or 26 estate, you can unlock all of them. The next facility I want to talk about is the workshop. This is where you craft different kinds of items like potions, bombs, grenades, uh, different capes, basically uh, items to help you out in battle. You can also craft food. I don't have a lot of recipes, but Food uh, essentially gives you a, a damage buff or whatever buff it lists there. There's the estate tab. You can craft certain objects to place around the land for show as well as the, the blue ones. Uh, these ones can be used to place in the mansion. I'll explain that in the next facility. You can also craft life skill tools here such as the rare, epic, legendary, and artifact ones. You do need the recipes for these, so keep that in mind. And finally, the miscellaneous tab. You can craft upgrading materials here like Arctis crystals, uh, tripod powders, as well as archaeology maps. 
This is all pretty useful and all of them require life skill materials. So this is where life skilling is important. You can either buy these materials or you can uh, farm them yourself. Next is the headquarters facility. This is where you send out uh, your naval squad to do missions, which give you different kinds of rewards like pirate coins, tokens, uh, and other sorts of collectibles. So the way this works is that you select a mission, you select sailors. Uh, you normally want to select sailors that match the conditions of the mission. So for example, I'm going to choose someone with dark. And because I chose someone with dark and it is one of the conditions, the success chance went up. You can also change the ship to match the condition to have a higher chance. You can also click the pick a team button. This is basically an auto team. It automatically picks the best team for you. So there are four sailor spots and one pet slot. Before you ask, if you send your pet out, don't worry, you can still use it. It's just there as a small bonus. Once you do that, click the complete mission. You do need energy. There is a shipping cost of pirate coins. And yeah, you just click the complete mission. And depending on the mission, it will tell you the time. And the second tab is special missions. So you can send uh, your ships out to do stuff that you would normally do outside of the estate, such as cubes, platinum fields, chaos dungeons, and guardians. Of course, doing all of these would consume the same uh, resources that you have. For example, sending your crew to do a guardian raid would cost uh, uh, the soul collection meaning if once they complete it you can't do it outside cubes would cost a cube ticket and chaos dungeons would cost energy Now you might be wondering is this worth it and to be honest I Don't think it's worth it to do this every day. It's much better for you to go in but it is worth it if you don't have the time so for example, let's just say if I was busy next or uh, tomorrow and I don't have time to play at all, I might consider doing this then just so I can at least get something out of it. The next facility is the mansion tab. This tab is just uh, for adding additional bonuses to the slots like structure and outfits. You remember how in uh, the workshop tab you can craft those blue? structures some of those give you bonuses that you can slot into your mansion so for example some of the fountains here give you uh, reduced energy consumption as well as costs by per one percent there are other better ones but these are the only ones that i have there is also an outfits tab which i don't have any but you can also slot those in to give you more benefits also, if you look at the workshop tab and hover over the blue items, uh, they will it will tell you what they give when you slot them in the mansion. And finally, the last facility, this was added in recently, uh, is the training. So basically what this is, is uh, you send one or two of your characters to the training zone on a training dummy. And after some time, they will gain XP. You can use this to level up alts. The way this is determined is uh, if you look at the top, it says allowed character levels 50 to 54. So basically, it's your highest level character minus two. And that is the highest your alts can go. For example, here, my Lance Master is a level 56. That means I can only send my other characters up to level 54. Once they hit 55, I can no longer train them. I would have to increase the Lance Master's level to further train other characters. And since the max level of this game is level 60, uh, I can only train them up to level 59. Which is pretty good, to be honest, because I don't really have to do anything, but it is, uh, it's pretty convenient. So I also want to mention that there are other NPCs scattered around the island that you may want to talk to. For example, uh, this NPC here. 
let's you exchange hunter orders for different uh for other different uh furniture that you may want to place around your home hunter orders are gained from uh rewards as a uh, head from the headquarters when they return down by the port there is the traveling merchant so this traveling merchant uh refreshes every 24 hours and they have new stock every time they can have sailors cards uh, and other goodies like ship designs and there is also a guest exchange tab this isn't for you this is for people who visit your estate so just by the other side of the stairs one npc here can trade uh hunter orders soldier orders and scouter orders all of these orders are received from headquarters uh, you can trade them for different things like seasonings with the hunter orders. You can also trade different orders into other orders like hunter orders into soldier orders. The ratio isn't one for one so do be mindful of that. And the NPC right next to them sells recipes for different things like life skill tools and also food recipes. Obviously this isn't all of the recipes. There are other recipes scattered around the world outside of the estate which you will have to find and on the north side of your estate you have the the, the fashion designer uh, this is for dyeing as well as transmogging which you know is already in town but it is also here it's also worth noting that some of the NPCs around the island have daily uh, quests so, for example, one NPC has craft ammunition of your choice, as well as complete a study, which is probably research. And for that, you get laboratory tokens, which reduce research time by one hour. The other NPC uh, has one as well. Send ships to execute regular missions, and it gives you a headquarters token, which reduces mission time by one hour. They are pretty easy tasks if you are regularly coming back here, so it can save you time. I kind of recommend to do them. Also, one thing I do want to mention, this is really important, is if you're not in your estate, there is a logo just at the top of your screen. It is a house logo. You can basically get a summary of what's going on at your estate just from this tab. You can find out what's being researched, what's being crafted, as well as the missions and all of the times that which they're going to be completed. You can also see uh, how long the the traveling merchant is here for and uh, when they leave. But anyways, I hope this video has helped in some way. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Uh, it does help a lot and also checking out my Twitch where I stream myself playing this game regularly every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.